Hello everybody and welcome back. In today's video we will talk about the Great Conjunction and what you need to do based on your zodiac sign. But before we dig deeper, if you're interested in a free numerology reading, then click the link below in the description. Now let's get started. The Great Conjunction between Saturn and Jupiter is a rare event. The last time the two gas giants were as close as this winter was in the Middle Ages. Those who want to watch the rare astronomical phenomenon should be on the lookout between December 16 to 25th. The two planets have already been approaching each other since the summer, but this connection is particularly unusual as you would have to go back to just before sunrise on March 4th, 1226 to see a closer alignment between these two planets. And the climax for this event will occur on December 21st which also happens to be the winter solstice, where the two planets will be so close together that they will almost appear as one celestial body. Now at this point you might be wondering where and when you can observe the Great Conjunction. The planetary duo can already be seen in the low evening sky, as they will be visible in the southwestern evening sky until the end of the year. However, from evening to evening they will appear lower and lower on the horizon. In November, they could be observed in the sky until about 7.30 p.m. However, on Christmas Day, they won't even be visible at 6 p.m. But until then, the sight is extraordinary. What's more extraordinary though, is that on the nights of December 16 and 17, the moon joins the two planets. Since there was only a new moon on December 14th, the moon will show a narrow crescent. On December 16th, it will be below the two planets. And on December 17th, all three celestial bodies seen from Earth will stand in an altitude plane. The crescent moon will be visible in a southern direction. The most impressive time though is between December 16th and 25th. In this period, the two gas giants are particularly close together in the Earth's sky. So close that the apparent size of a full moon would hardly fit between them. And then, on December 21st at 11.02 a.m. is the winter solstice. From this time on, the days become longer and the nights become shorter again. On that day, however, Jupiter and Saturn are also closer than they have been in nearly 800 years. By the evening of their closest approach on December 21st, they will look like a double planet, separated by only one-fifth of the diameter of the full moon. For most telescope viewers that evening, each planet and several of their largest moons will be visible in the same field of view. And this event is called the Great Conjunction. It's an event that happens only about once every 20 years. As seen from Earth, the next time the two gas giants will meet in the Great Conjunction will be on October 31st, 2040. However, those who want to view the two planets higher in the sky will have to wait until March 15th, 2080. And after that, the duo won't appear like this again until after the year 2400. And having said all that, here are a few quick tips to give you the best experience in observing this incredible phenomena. Both planets can be seen well with the naked eye. You don't need any special equipment for observing them. But you should keep the early evening hours free because they are only in the sky for a brief period of time. The cool evening hours have an advantage. They can clear up the night. However, in winter it is often dull and cloudy, and that's why you should check the weather forecasts early. Since it will be cold, you should dress warmly. Saturn and Jupiter can be seen well in the city. However, dark places are better for planetary viewing. Furthermore, you should go to a place that offers a clear horizon because the planets will be quite low in the night sky. And whether you're up in your spiritual game or not, there's no denying this event is garnering a lot of attention. The reason for such focus and preparation over this deeper way of thinking is the way that the energy shift taking place in the atmosphere, especially in the build up to the winter solstice, will create higher frequencies that will influence humanity. In particular, under this great conjunction, there is a belief that we will see a shift towards more community-based living, rather than looking to governments or big businesses for support, 
while people turn to smaller organizations as they look to thrive collectively. This is due to the Jupiter and Saturn alliance taking place amongst air signs, which places importance on humanitarian efforts. It is also said that this planetary turning point will allow us to keep our vibrations high by learning how to be true to ourselves rather than attempting to be positive all the time. So what makes this great conjunction different? This conjunction is special because it's in Aquarius, the sign of social change, humanitarian efforts, and justice for all. The great conjunction also occurs at zero degrees, which signifies a new beginning. It means that as a society, we need to start from scratch and rethink our attitudes about freedom, equality, and what it means to care for the common good. Better yet, all of this happens at the winter solstice in the northern hemisphere. The synchronization of the great conjunction and the winter solstice makes it a perfect time to perform a ritual, read tarot cards, or simply write down what most people want to manifest in the coming year. So at this point you're probably wondering how you can use the Great Conjunction to your advantage. And the thing is, a Great Conjunction is a moment when you free yourself from old habits to make room for new ones. If you're not open to change, you may feel uncomfortable doing so. But if you do, you can make incredible progress towards the dreams you've held onto for so long. Jupiter's expansive nature and Saturn's structure help you achieve something that may have seemed unattainable before, but is now entirely within your reach. For the best results, pick a grand, seemingly unattainable goal that has been on your mind for some time, and spend as much time as you can on it in 2021. Since both Jupiter and Saturn are involved with professional achievement, it's a great energy to turn into professional success. Whatever you decide, Jupiter will give you the power to accelerate your growth in this area, and Saturn will give you a solid foundation to make sure your results are sustainable. As with everything that happens in the stars, you have to do the work to make the most of it, but if you focus on meeting the cosmos halfway, the results are truly magical. If you like, you can also light a purple candle on the day of the Great Conjunction. Purple is the color of Jupiter and will help you maximize the good aspects of this alignment. The Great Conjunction will affect Aquarius more intensely, but other air signs will benefit as well. And there are ways for everyone to use this energy to their advantage. So here is a little practical guide for your zodiac sign. If you're an Earth sign, which is Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, Prepare your career for a big leap. Whether it's a raise, a new position, or good press, the Great Conjunction will likely take you to greater heights. Professionally, your growth will allow you to reach a more prestigious position that will impact your career for many years to come. You will need to step out of your comfort zone to appreciate the benefits, but if you do, you will have a rock-solid foundation on which to build your reputation. If you're an air sign like Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, you can finally have some fun for once. Thanks to the Great Conjunction, you realize that putting fun first can have serious benefits. A new look, a creative project, or a trip can give you some great ideas. If you've been playing it safe so far, this energy helps you dream bigger than you have in years. And it can be scary to allow yourself to want something different, but when you do, you'll be surprised at how much energy you get and how quickly. Instead of wringing your hands, think of the process as an adventure, and you might find a treasure around the next corner. If you're a fire sign like Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, then your relationships will soon improve. If you feel lonely, the Great Conjunction will help you find loved ones in the form of a new social circle or a mentor. Some people come into your life to teach you, and this is one of those moments. Be open to learning from the people you admire and don't hesitate to ask them for help. You can also help someone change their life by giving them a hand when they need it. Either way, communication is important, 
so don't be afraid to share your story. And lastly, if you're a water sign like Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, then get ready for a healing experience from within. At the Great Conjunction, you will renegotiate what you share with others rather than what you keep for yourself. After this process, your heart feels more complete than it has in a long time. You may move on to a new place that resembles a sanctuary, find a lover to whom you can be vulnerable, or even begin a spiritual practice. It's about embracing the secret successes of life as much as the public successes. Ultimately, this conjunction teaches you that it is safe to feel good, open, and trustworthy. So what I ask of you now, are you looking forward to experiencing the Great Conjunction, and do you plan to view it on the 21st? Please share your thoughts and experiences down below in the comments section. I read every single comment and look forward to hearing what you all have to say. And if you enjoyed this video, then please like it. And if you're interested in more videos about numerology, the law of attraction, and spirituality, then please consider subscribing to the channel. New videos are up every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So until next time, bonsoir, universe.